Blessings, everyone. On this episode of Cabin Fever Faith, I'm entitling Keep the Fires Burning, and uh, for obvious reasons here, but I'm going to tell you a little story, and maybe you've heard it before. There once was a pastor who was in the habit of visiting his parish members, and uh, just to check up on them and see how they're doing, and maybe share a cup of coffee and conversation, and, and, you know, sometimes talk about matters of faith. Well, he came to this one gentleman's place, a middle aged or, or an elderly bachelor, and he hadn't seen him in church for quite a while. I thought, well, this is a good time to visit him, see how he's doing as well. So he goes into his house, and, and the gentleman welcomes him, and they sit down uh, in their living room uh, next to a fair fireplace, much like this. And during the, during the course of their conversation, this, the man says, you know, you know, uh, Pastor, I don't, I don't think I ever need to go to church. I can just pray on my own or walk in the woods and commune with God. I don't really need to get together with all those people, right? Uh, I'm more, much more comfortable alone. And, uh, and the pastor listened patiently and, and thoughtfully. And then he, what he did, he did something interesting. He, he walked up to the fireplace, he opened the door, he took a piece of coal, and he set it on, on the hearth here, and without saying a word. And they watched that piece of coal as it burned, and, and pretty soon it started flickering, and pretty soon it burned completely out. And uh, nothing bit but a black piece of coal. And then without saying a word, uh, that pastor, he, he reached with the tongs and he grabbed that piece of coal and he put it into the, next to the fire again. And pretty soon that coal lit up, just like it was, did before. Not a word was said, but I think he got his message across. You see, when we stand alone, we run the risk of letting that fire burn out inside, that fire of our faith, the fire of what Jesus is all about, what our eternal destiny is. But if we keep ourselves close to the fire, close to one another, right, where all the other one coals are burning, we can stay united and ignited, you might say, uh, with the fire of faith, the fire of, our, fire of our God and the Holy Spirit, really. So uh, think about that. Um, next time you're tempted to skip church or, or go your own way. You know, Jesus never separated his personal relationship with God from the communal dimension. Sure, he went out into the wilderness and the mountainsides and he prayed alone. But you always heard about him preaching in the synagogues or being with other people in the synagogue during worship on the Sabbath. We need to keep that balance too. Or we become that lump of coal that burns out. When we come back to the fire, we get reunited one again, once again, and, and that kind of keeps us going as well. Say, on one last note, I have something exciting to, to share with you. Uh, during this Lent and for the next whole year, because I know COVID's been around, a lot of people, you can't come to church for obvious reasons, and I, I don't blame you for that, but I hope you return. But in the meantime, we have something exciting. It's called Word on Fire Engage. And what that is, is really an app or a program that really comes to you. In other words, if you sign up, you'll get any, you'll get uh, inspirational uh, videos, inspirational maybe prayers or messages directly to your phone or to your email computer. And um, since we can't gather together during Lent to do our usual, uh, to, um, um, usual Lenten programs, um, it's coming to you. And it's kind of a neat way to engage people, but also connect them virtually and hopefully get more people gathered together and keep that fire going until you're able to return. So I hope when this COVID thing is over, you do come back because we need to keep that fire going. Now, a way to sign up is check our website at toacatholic.org. Or for those who, who, um, who are Catholic or wish to, you don't even have to be Catholic, you can certainly join in those uh, those uh, get those spiritual meditations and basically what you do is you go into your text box and for the number on top you print you uh, press four eight four five seven six that's the number eight four five seven six and then on the message in capital letters T A O A C C that's together as one A C C in caps 
And then you'll get, they'll, you'll be logged in and then you just press the, on the underlying instructions and, and follow through. And if you do it on your computer, you'll get these through your email. If you do it on your phone, you'll get these inspirational messages and videos, uh, mostly from Bishop Robert Barron, sometimes from myself. Even hope to get our cabin fever on those too to everybody. Uh, you'll get daily or weekly. You kind of tailor it yourself too. You can check out other, other good information on it really about our Catholic Christian faith, and not just Catholic, but Christian faith in general. I think Bishop Robert Barron does a wonderful job. So it's called Word on Fire, Engage. It's a, I'm excited about this opportunity. We're gonna start it this weekend. We're gonna continue through Lent and go through the whole year and, and hopefully beyond and keep us connected. As I said, keep the fires burning. That's what it's all about. God bless you, take care, and have a great Lenten season and Easter as well.